Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a really special one for you. This is probably the cleanest Vic, a P71 that I've met and seen so far. But I'm here with my friend Pierce. Hey guys, how you doing? And he's gonna tell us everything about this car and he's got a story to tell. So go ahead Pierce, uh, thank you for your time and take it away. No tell problem. Us. So I bought this car February 27th. It's a 2010 retired New Jersey State Police Crown Vic. Uh, the guy that drove it was either a captain or a lieutenant because it never had a cage in it. It was a marked unit. Uh, never, It did have a light bar on the roof, but I bought it with 106,000 miles and 1,900 idle hours. I've put 30,000 miles, a little over 30,000 miles on the car now. It's got uh, a new set of headlights, side markers. Um, I took off the spotlight to give away, got to get, kind of get rid of the cop look a little bit, but people still move out of the way and stop, and they go 20 miles under the speed limit when they get in front of me, which is annoying. Um, tires are decent. Um, I'm going to be swapping them back out for the RSAs pretty soon. Uh, other than brakes and just general maintenance, I've done like basically nothing to this car except put gas in it, change the oil. Um, the alternator, the battery, all that stuff was replaced before I bought it. I did have to put a starter on it. Um, but this thing has just been rock solid, and it's just reliable as all get it out. I mean, I've had it in New York four or five times. I'm getting ready to take it to Boston in, in December to go and visit some family up there in uh, uh, Massachusetts. But the car's been great. I love this thing. Let's and start I, uh, with this uh, push bar, Pierce. This is a PB100, which all the Jersey State Police run on their uh, marked cars, usually turnpike cars cars uh, out of like Troop B and Troop C, you'll see these. The only cars that they have that don't have the push bars on them are the unmarked traffic vehicles. Like they'll have all white Vicks with the moldings. You know, that's how my car doesn't have the moldings on the doors on the front. Well, the unmarked ones do. They have a molding that goes down the front. But this car, because it was a marked unit and it had the medallion on the door, they did the, the you know, the, the markings were removed. So earlier you told me this was a Satina? Satina. Right? It's a Satina PB100 push bar, and yes. The, the, body the bodyguard. Bar. Yeah. Yes. These are easy to fix when they get if they get like if they get bent because they're such a light metal you can literally just bend it back i mean you can like tie to a tree and just push it pull it yeah. and it'll move yeah it um, looks solid it looks really good on it's this it's really car. solid yeah i mean a lot of people don't like it they say they're junk they're junk there's so many guys on you on craigslist and stuff on facebook that are that are not a fan of these push bars but i love them okay now looking at the lights uh they look crystal clear and they look brand new yeah, what's they, the deal with this they were replaced by the state before i bought the car and the state police are notorious for replacing headlight side markers uh, tail lights on these cars if they get fogged up or whatever because the cops are driving these things all the time So the lights have to be clear and when right. they put on their police lights. They have to be able to be seen This is the fourth state police car I've owned and every one I've ever had has had brand new lights in it. Yeah, it's man. It's just it pops It gives a really clean. I appreciate the compliment clean look. I just washed her But she still has some road grime on her, but she's pretty clean now. I think yeah, okay Let's move on. Let's uh, look at the tire setup and wheels that you have. What are we running here? Yeah. For the, the stock 235 55 17, they're general G Max. Okay, I like these tires, they just wore down really quick and they're a little noisy. So, I think I'm going to go back to the factory RSAs, the Goodyear Eagle RSA tires. Okay, nice. So, the After center this. caps are a stock. Yeah, they're these stock tires, even look really good. Are they soft, hard? What, like, how are they in the rain? Oh, it's good in the rain. The car grips really well in the rain. Okay. Actually, um, so but you said they are uh, just wear it down too fast. Yeah, they're at, yeah they're at five millimeter already. Oh that's man, what they told me that's what they told me at Ford. But you know. Okay. So looking at inside the wheel well, I don't see any rust, man. No, there's no rust on these wheel wells. None. This thing's pretty clean. This thing's uh, surprisingly clean for being a Jersey car. I yeah. mean, it's got some rocker rust, but it's but it's just all surface. It's not rotted all through. I mean, even the door jams, like if you open up the doors and look in here, usually they're all rusted out down in there. There's some rust. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. That's nothing like I've seen them where there's holes in there. Yeah, yeah. This that's is, just surface, yeah. This is nothing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's close the inside because that's a really clean interior we're going to keep yeah, for later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there was a spotlight. You took it off? Yeah, I took it off, yeah, and I plugged it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Is there a tint on the windshield? No, no tint on the windshield, no. just the 5% all the way around, side windows and, and the back window. Okay. 
two fronts, two backs. And Let's keep back going. So there are no side moldings on the front door? No, because if you look real close, you can see where the medallion was there. It's where the residue is right here where it said state police. This is where they had the badge. And there's some uh, blue paint still actually left over. But okay, yes. It looks like somebody was taking it off. You see the marks of scuffs? Yeah, they took it off, yeah. Yeah, you can't see it through the camera, but I see the lines where the... The, the decals were yeah i'm actually going to get these the whole car repainted eventually just because it, it look you know it makes the car look yeah okay well uh, those door handles did you paint them or they no they're that's how they came yeah, they're, okay they're, i they're like the original yeah the no chrome okay what do we got on the roof uh a little bit of spots paint spots there um right around here where the plug is i mean that's common on the white crown victoria so they that plug was for what antenna this was for an this this was for a low jack antenna and that was for the light bar or the light bar went into the roof okay and then these other two antennas they left on the car and i'm leaving them on because i like the way they look it looks good yeah i like how nice they got one on each opposite side one's on the right one's on the left nice little touch yeah and oh, then yeah. where the uh, light bar was you could barely see any nicks yeah yeah and the paint's it, not yeah. fade man yeah this is really clean um i try okay moving on moving on yeah um let me see here see a like a, almost a brand new control arm down there oh uh, they're new the rear uh upper and lower trailing arms are brand new they were done by the department before i bought the car also okay yep man it's they're clean. Act, yeah they're called rear control arms or rear trailing arms and if you, it's crazy too if you look at them they're ford motorcraft they and they, they only use state police only use Ford genuine parts they won't use anything aftermarket yeah they got money for that stuff <laughs> yeah, they, yeah they do yeah yeah they definitely okay do. so in the back what do we got going on back here uh just typical factory tail lights police uh, interceptor factory reverse badge. lights now these actually this these tail lights and these reverse lights still have the lights in them all I got to do is hook them up and rewire them. This has the wheel and vertex, right. which the LEDs, and then this also has wheel and vertex red and blues in here. Okay, so the strobes and things are still in there. Oh yeah, I just haven't wired them up. Oh, I'm gonna wire okay. them up soon. It'd be cool to see them running, but oh yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and they flash. You go like there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go under here. Oh yeah, the car also has a new gas tank in it, but that was also done before I got it. So whoever, the guy that drove this car must have really cared about this vehicle. Yeah. So running, a, man, it's clean under here, man. I know. I, 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 a lot of people say that, too. It's really clean. Yeah, they undercoated it at some point, as you can see, to keep the rust away. Yeah, it's nice and black. Which it doesn't, and it doesn't leak nothing. Yeah, which means that it's undercoated, so it keeps one color. Yeah. No rust, no surface rust. Yeah. Nope. None. So let's see. I'm getting all tangled up. Okay, moving on. Uh, rear is tinted. Yeah, the rear is tinted dark, five percent. Yeah. Okay. Do you get a uh, police uh, messing with you? No, they actually always wave at me. <laughs> they one of ours, right? Huh? Yeah, I, I you literally do the cop wave, which is where you have your hand, you stick your hand up off the steering wheel like this one time. That's the cop wave. Oh, okay. You, you just, go like this, they wave, they wave right back you at just you. Just hold it, okay. Yeah. All right, so we got the flex fuel badge. <laughs> yep. And uh, for the exterior, any plans that you want to do? to the exterior other than repainting it no not really I'm you gonna don't do want no panel. crazy modifications no. or no no, no like no, no, crazy no. light bars no and i'm gonna add RGB. all no no <laughs> rgb no ngk none of that stuff no, <laughs> no I, uh, I keep them pretty simple i keep them clean i try to because factory spec is the best for these like i hate these people to take these cars and they put aftermarket exhaust on these cars right. they cut the cats off that messes with the performance of the vehicle I and mean, people really don't realize that it throws a check engine light it causes oxygen oxygen sensor codes and it just it ruins the car yeah these cars were meant to be a certain kind of way. I figured, like, if they wanted to upgrade them, the cops let the cops upgrade them. Yeah, yeah. If they weren't upgraded by the police, they weren't meant to be upgraded. Right. That's just how I feel. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm right. That's just my opinion. Yeah. No, I mean, they can tell that the car is clean. Yeah. I. Uh, uh, we're gonna go for a ride a little bit later at the end of this video, but yeah. you can definitely tell that the car is taken care of. Yeah. It's clean, it's shiny, and everything works and everything performs as it should. Yeah. Not many out there that are not like chopped up and slammed All or beat up, yeah. Yeah, or yeah. whipped around or you know, one thing or another. I mean it's got a dent in the back, little nick in the back door, but people are always like, You gonna sell that? Would you sell that? I'm like, nah, not not for less than seven grand, I wouldn't yeah, sell it. Yeah, we didn't see any uh nicks and dents but it's there because the owner says it is oh by the way uh what year is it 2010 and how many miles 138 right now and i've got 2038 idle hours on it uh, how many miles was there when you bought it 106 106 so i've put 32,000 miles on this car oh man this thing definitely says 
<laughs> that it's low mileage. Yeah, still low mileage. But when I got mine a year and a half ago, which is, I always bring mine, it's right there. It had 77,000 miles. <laughs> so, That's low miles, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, no future plans but to just repaint it and just keep it clean. And uh, the header panel, I'm going to bring the push oh yeah. bar back up a little bit. Let's talk about this. Yeah. What's up? What happened here? Uh, apparently, according to the garage, the hood latch went bad, and they were trying to do an oil change. And instead of doing it, because you can get it from in the grill, they stuck a pry bar and it went like this uh, and they cracked it. Okay. Which upsets me because the state police care about these cars so much. I'm like, why would you stick a pry bar in there? Yeah, yeah. This uh, guy's really going to try to go around on the left. He's not going to make it. Yeah, we got. We're. Uh, we got traffic it. coming through. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. He's making it. We didn't think he would. But I like interestingly, how the past sheet stared at me like that. Yeah, interestingly enough, my car on the panel right there, header panel, has the same markings because uh, when after a while, I guess the latch seizes up. Yeah, it does. And you just uh, use a screwdriver. So yours broke. Mine is like on the verge of breaking, but so WD-40 uh, solves it. And they put in, I think they put a new latch on here. Okay. Because it, it opens and closes normally now. I have no issues with it. So okay. So uh, next uh, next move of action. Uh, let's see under the hood. All right. Let me open it up. Pop the hood real quick because I do have the keys in the ignition. So. The trunk. So I'll pop the trunk. Right. Yep. We'll go to the trunk next. I like to tell people that the trunk is my favorite part because yeah. of all the junk in the trunk. Yeah, exactly. And that tells right. us what the people are up to, what their hobbies are, what they like to do. What well, I do auto detailing, so I've got a lot of cleaning stuff in my trunk. So that's my side gig. Okay, here we go. The infamous 4.6. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So, tell us what's uh, what's been done. What's it doing? Since what's... I've had the car, I've done ignition coils. Okay. I did motorcraft. Motorcraft, of course. Yeah. Okay. Ford, yeah. Okay. Know. Okay. Before we get any further. I'd ask everybody, are you the guy who does motorcraft parts only? Yes, I am. Okay, so he's uh, one of the few that actually he has a bunch of parts in the trunk, we'll see. And right away, why I ask is the oil filter is the motorcraft the filter. Motorcraft, yep. yes, yeah. Okay. Um, Go we, ahead, we, sorry. We got all tangled up. Yep. Even these are Ford motorcraft, genuine motorcraft, the hood stoppers. Okay, those look nice. Yeah, they're brand new, yeah. Okay, um, so you did the coils. I did the coils, battery, alternator, all motorcraft. You can see the Ford thing sticker on the side of the alternator there. It's oh, yeah. Ford 200 amp, yeah. Yeah, we see it in there. Um, I'm going to do a PCV valve soon. Even though it's not leaking, I'm going to change that, and I'm also going to do motorcraft. Okay. Um, what else? Transmission fluids motorcraft, uh, starters motorcraft, that's new too. Oh, see we see there. it. Yeah, we yeah. see it shiny down there. Yeah, the belt tensioner, idler pulley, and belt are all motorcraft. Okay. Um, I so got a motorcraft water pump in my trunk, so when that goes bad, that's going in How much did that too. belt tensioner cost? If Thirty-two you don't mind. bucks. How much? Thirty-two bucks. Where did you find it? This one right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got it on Amazon. On Amazon. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was twenty-two because it's grooved. Yeah. Uh, the alternator was two fifty. Okay. Brand new though, so I'm not complaining. The belt was like. 32 bucks so all together it was like because i did it all at one time so i'm yeah. gonna say it was like around a little over 400 bucks to do everything but i did it all myself yeah yeah that's another thing i liked about love i love i really do love about these cars is the ease of maintenance is insane like it literally took me 20 minutes to change the alternator yep like, that's true it's um, right there it's just one bracket couple of bolts um she doesn't leak or use any oil or any trans or any coolant or anything like that as you can see the reservoir is full on the coolant there so yeah and i did green. a coolant flush on this uh in march Flushed okay. all the coin out, got all all the stuff out of the block, filled it all with new stuff. So, all right. Uh, what is? I'm sure this is for the equipment. This is for the lights that they had in here. Okay. Um, they always leave this in now. But if I when I go to add my lights, this is a kill switch. So you push that, and when that comes out, that kills. So if a cop tries to get in and turn the lights on, nothing will happen. Okay. So this is a little trick, and it's waterproof, as you can see. Just so water gets in there, it doesn't ruin. It doesn't ruin the lights, or doesn't ruin the switch, or anything. Okay. So all these new parts. Any future plans for performance, intake upgrades, maybe uh, exhaust headers? No, I'm actually going to do when the intake goes bad on this. I have a brand new Ford intake at the house with gaskets and a new thermostat ready to go in when it does go bad. Oh, the intake manifold? Yeah, but yep. even because it's not cracked. It right. doesn't leak or nothing, so I'm not going to mess with it. 
my dad had an old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. So I said that a few times today. Um, <laughs> what else? All new power steering fluid. I mm-hmm. flushed that out. The only fluids I haven't done is a brake, and I'm going to do okay. that probably when it gets a little cooler. It's a little hot to be doing a brake bleed right. right now. What else? You asked me. Uh, so, no no exhaust upgrades. I do have to get the manifold done because I got the infamous exhaust manifold tick, okay. which they all develop at some point. Um, it's probably just a broken stud or something in the yeah. head there. But, uh, man, no. It's uh, I'm pretty gonna clean keep, on I'm under here. Factory, man. Did you ever gonna... detail this thing? The engine? Yeah. No? No. no it's it clean. Like this, yeah. yeah, it's really clean. Um... My friend of mine actually has a 2009 Crown Vic uh, that she bought, also a Jersey State car. She bought it with 212, and I'm not even kidding you. She sent me a picture the other day. She just turned 400,000 miles on oh, that wow. car. Things still rolling. And she just took it down to Tennessee and, and brought it back up to Jersey. Wow. What so a if testament. that's not a testament to yep. how reliable these cars are, I don't know what is. Yeah. <laughs> The hood's pretty clean. Oh yeah, and it's Nothing the it's, really. and, and it's the factory hood because you can see right there it says 2010 my flex fuel vehicle. Yeah. That's another. If you ever look at a Crown Vic and it's and it, the year doesn't match that that doesn't match the door, yeah. then the hood's been replaced. Okay, very nice. All the VIN tags are here yep. on the body panel, so it's never been hit. Yeah, I mean it's just it's nice. I mean for a white car, yeah, I I I get a lot of compliments on how clean this thing is. Yeah, even uh, when I was driving to meet up with him here, he said he was on the phone and somebody was talking to him about the Crown Vic because yeah, they saw it in the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. go ahead and close the hood. Yes, sir. We sure love those uh, 4.6s. So let's go jump in the trunk now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the 4.6 is definitely a last of a dying breed, that's for sure. All right, so here's my cooling fan, which I have a plan of Typical uh, Panther platform trunk. Yeah, let me take this out. So Extra I can show parts. You guys everything else I have in here. So. This is all, these are tools, tools, tools. This is like most of my detail stuff. So I have like my window glass cleaner, my goof off. So like if somebody buys a car and they say, hey, I got sticker residue that I use this shit on there. Yep. Stuff, sorry to curse. Um, I have my Rain-X uh, visible glass cleaner. I have what all is my that? rags. Motorcraft box. That's the water pump. Okay. When the water pump goes bad. And this is my old brake pads that okay, I just that changed. Look at all this motorcraft stuff. It's like yeah, a museum in here. Output shaft seal for the transmission, which is the little seal for the drive shaft and the transmission come. There's a little rubber seal, and every time they just they start to leak. Okay. Extra um, oil filter. Extra oil uh-huh. filter, extra belt. And then these are my brake pads are gonna go on on Sunday. Motorcraft. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I'm trying, I try. The only thing that's not motorcraft, because I couldn't get one, is the air filter. It's a Napa though. Yeah. Napa gold. Napa does make good stuff. What do you think about the K&N drop in? Junk. Junk. Over overpay over over <laughs> overcharged. Yeah, just like Ford wants to charge twenty eight dollars for an air filter, and I said, "Are you kidding me? It's a paper filter." Yep. You know, and and that that one, they said I can get six oil changes out of that before I get a change. Oh wow. It. So I went with that, and that was fifteen ninety nine for that. Yeah. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm not paying twenty eight dollars when but, I can get something." What's for the bird for? I can't. Uh, I can't talk about that. <laughs> That conversation is <laughs> for off Okay, camera. yeah, we've seen some stuff in the cars. But uh, you told me earlier there was a brackets from the original equipment. Yeah, right? These two yeah, brackets right one. here. There's one right there and right there. there's two. And yeah. that's where the shotgun was mounted because this never had a cage. Okay. So they would keep the shotgun in the trunk. Yeah, they still have all the factory police wiring. I didn't mess with any of it. I left it all. Does that come out like a slide-out drawer? Or, no. Okay. It's supposed to. I think it's stuck. Yeah, yeah. It's something stuck on it. But yeah, okay. that, they kept equipment on that also. And, and the full size spare, right? Yeah, full size spare. That spare tire has actually been with me through four cars. Okay. I paid a hundred dollars for that spare tire, and that thing has been. Have you had to time use I, it? I've had to use it three times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a Kelly. It's not you know the best brand in the world, but it gets the job done. Okay. You told me about this button up here. All right. So this button right here. Up. Yep. You, they would push this button to unlock the shotgun when they opened up the trunk. Never and then also these one. covers are because they have lights behind these. Ah, uh, okay. That's, that's where that's heavy where duty wheeling, stuff, yeah. Oh yeah, that's where the wheel and uh, vertex strobes for the reverse lights are located at. Wow. And everybody's gonna ask, why don't you have LED headlights in these cars? First of all, the LED headlights gives away the cop look. It does. People automatically know you're not a police officer. True. And I've taken three EVOC courses. You know what the EVOC course is, right? No. Emergency Vehicle Operations course. It's where they teach the cops how to drive. Okay. So people ask me, because my ABS light's on, how do you stop this thing without ABS? If you know how to drive, you don't need ABS. Okay. Um, and I could do things with a Crown Vic that would scare a lot of people. Like, you'd be like, Pierce, are you serious? How'd you just do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, and the guy at the course told me, 
on the because they have a course where you drive around the cones and you know, back up you get like five minutes i did that course in three minutes and 50 seconds like dude oh, you wow. got the fastest time other than one other officer interesting you just know how to operate a crown vic yeah not nah, yeah my first car ever was the 87 grand marquee with the five liter so okay. yeah i've been driving these big boats a long time how many uh, panthers have you had in your lifetime let's see i've had nine of these i've had nine p71s this is a P7B. I had, my first car ever was an 87 Grand Marquis LS, two-tone, black, gray and silver with the velour interior, big, you know, dark burgundy seats. Nice. I had a 91 after that, uh, blue with a blue top. I had an 86 after that, two-door, which are rare. The two-door Grand Marquis and Crown Becks are rare. The older ones, a box with right. the five liter. I had an 83. I had a 94 aero body, a 96 aero body. Oh, I love those. But my 94 was green. It was dark green with a tan buckskin leather interior. Ooh. My red one was an LS Ultimate Edition with the dual exhaust. It had the air ride suspension in the back, the digital dash. I had a 99, a 2000, a 2001, uh, a 2009, two 2009s, a 2010. Am I forgetting any cars? Let me think. It might be. No, I think that's it. Why not just drive like a Camry? Or a cord or some four door. I don't like small cars. Um, <laughs> and my mother got into a bad accident when I was a kid and, and broke her collarbone. A guy ran into my mom at 60 miles an hour. She was in a 90s Ford Escort. Oh man. And even those things were made out of metal. Yeah. And so after that, my dad's like, We're going to the Ford dealership and we're buying a Grand Marquis. We went right over wow. to Home and Ford and bought a 91 LS, LS with the blue leather interior. And that was the car we had until my parents passed away. Then I inherited that from my dad. Wow. And, uh, Is that what got you into this? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think if my dad was alive, he'd, he'd, he'd like, let me take this thing for a spin. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's uh, get inside the vehicle now. The, all the goodies. The Even the better part than the outside is the interior of this car. Okay. So... I, this is from my back, sorry, I am. Can we maybe okay. get the, uh, the keys out for the beeping to stop? Yeah, sure. It's gonna be really loud in the, these mics pick up really good sound. Come on. Oh, sorry, I'm not as young as, I mean, I'm only 36, but I'm not very <laughs> older. Okay, so, the interior is basic, there's really nothing special. I even saw the factory radio in here, and the reason why that is, is because I bought myself an FM transmitter for Father's Day as a gift. And uh, I can plug my phone into that. I can play my music from my speakers. I don't, you know, I don't need to spend two, three hundred dollars on an aftermarket radio. Right. Door panels are clean. Everything's standard. Okay. Everything yep. works. Power locks, power windows, mirrors. Everything works like it's supposed to. Okay. This is where I mention every single time on the Crown Vicks. Um, so let's look at here. It's got the automatic pedal adjusters. Oh yeah, power pedals. Yep. But it does not have the power seats. No. All right. So let me tell you a little. And it does not have the lumbar adjustment. And let me tell you why I don't like power seats on that. Okay. I had a black FBI, my black FBI car had power seats. Now yeah. after a year of owning it, the power seat stopped working. The switch inside the door panel went like bad. My mechanic had to pull the door panel off and jump, I had to jump the actual s switch. So that the only time the seat would work is when the key was in, the, like the key had to be in the car mm. in the position. Because what happens is from adjusting it all the time, back and forth, back and forth, the switch just, it's just more electronics to wear out. Yep, that's true. I like the basic bare bones, which is what this is. Like, the most I might add to this in the future is maybe cruise control. But even that's, because this steering wheel is, other than a little bit of fading, it's not all chopped up and it's cracked. I mean, the wheel's in good shape. Yeah, it is. So, and in any cruise control, our wheel has to be as good, if not better, or I'm not changing the wheel out. Okay, so everything is like black or charcoal in here. Everything yeah. is clean. There's no yeah. scratches. There's no. Sh no, fade. not even there. I don't even think this car had a had a microphone because there's no holes in the. Usually there's holes right here for the hanger. Like usually there's holes. Yeah. There's no holes. So I think the officer that drove this just used the handheld radio. I don't even think it had a. I don't think it had. Did a it handheld. have all the uh, the equipment and all that stuff in here? Or no. Yeah, it did. It had equipment in here. Okay. Well, whoever decommissioned it, they really, they really did, they a, good did job. a good job. They yeah. the wires away. You can't ever tell that there was. The ticket light does work. Yes. Somebody went through the trouble of replacing the lens. That's a brand new lens on there. Oh man, that is nice. Okay, I've never seen those before. What is this? What that? What that thing? The right fire there? suppression. Oh, that's a, that's that's uh, Jersey State. Pennsylvania and New York State Police all have that. That's if the car gets rear-ended. It doesn't allow the car to explode. 
Okay. It keeps the car from catching because there's an extinguisher under the under the back of the car. How does this? Oh, you just pull oh. it down. Man, it's like one of those missile buttons. Yeah, yeah. Like a nuclear missile. I would not push that button. <laughs> I don't know what. Well, happened, I've never but. seen this before. That yeah, was that the little, coolest thing. That little, uh, uh, that little thing in my in my headliner there. Okay, little, moving on. Yes, sir. Um, this uh, center console it is fits out really of a Mercury well. Mountaineer, 2004 Mercury Mountaineer. Yep. Oh man. Does the uh, charger port work here? I have not wired that up. Not wired I have to figure that I would like to get that to work because I have an extra one. Because I also have one underneath. Crown Vicks always come with the one at the top and there's one yeah. at the bottom. So okay. it does have two charger ports already anyway, but yes. Man, look the, how clean this mat, or the rub, rubber mat. What is rubber, yeah, rubber flooring, heavy rubber duty rubber flooring, flooring yeah. yeah. Everything's just so clean and shiny and... Yeah. But this Mountaineer uh, fits very well. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna jump in the back. Yeah. And uh, don't mind my junk on the back seat. That bag actually has my work boots in it. That that thank you bag. Yep. And then there's some towels, cause I you know if somebody spills something, I like to be able to clean it up right away. I got some hats on the back deck there. They're both Ford hats, so you know I'm a big Ford guy. Let's take a look back here. Yep. Don't mind. I got you know like I said. Yeah, yeah. The little knickknacks. Yeah. Man, it's nice. The tent makes it really like. Personal and confidential in here. Oh yeah. And all the black interior. When Are I roll, these leather or vinyl? Vinyl. Okay. There's no leather in a police car. Ever. I mean, Most I, people. Is there leather? No. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's vinyl. 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 Okay. And it's easy to clean. Very easy to clean up. Guess to get yourself some Armor All, some soap and water, and just. How sh often does anybody in the back seat though? Because every Panther is usually. My no son. Uh, occasionally, if it's like me, my friend Mario, and my yeah. uncle Joey. We'll make Joey ride in the back seat. He hates that though. <laughs> yeah. He's the old me. He's like, I'm 50 years old. I'm like, get your, I'm like, get your butt in the back yeah, seat yeah. and be quiet. Yeah, man, look at this, Colleen. And this thing rolls. When we get on this road, I'm gonna get on, even though it's a 25 mile an hour zone. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you okay. hear this thing wind yeah, up. Yeah, this fits very well. Yeah, I know. Surprisingly, right? Anything else? Any upgrades, updates? Anything you want to do for the interior in the future? Not really. Not really. Just, just shamp clean? Sh shampoo the seats because the seats are a little. They have some coffee stains in them. But other than that, no. Yeah, he said there's coffee stains. There's like not a single stain. Or a. Oh yeah, the camera picks it up. The eye doesn't because of the pattern, but the camera. Yeah, but you know what though? It's not. It's still it's still yeah, clean yeah. now. It's still clean. Okay. Uh, what's still one thing you hate about this car, or dislike? Hate mm -hmm. is a strong word. Nothing. Nothing. No, I okay. love the fact that people respect these cars. Yep. And uh, I always get waves from the trusty from the troopers. They yeah. Always wave, yeah, what's up, buddy? They always take on one of them, and the local cops wave at me too. It's great. What's uh, maybe one thing that you just absolutely love about this car? The fact that it's like an old time X Watch. Take a lick and keep on ticking. It's just, <laughs> it's just, you beat on this car, it comes back for more. I'm guessing you're a watch guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Timex is a good brand. Yeah. <laughs> but now this, this literally, this thing, you beat on a Crown Vic, it just comes back for more. It just, yeah. they never quit. They just don't quit. I was talking to a cop in Newark, young black guy. He said to me, he said, I said, why are you driving a Crown Vic and not an Explorer? He's like, man, this car will get you out of anything, bro. Yep. You kidding me? He's like, they can have them Explorers. I want the Vic. I'm yeah, like, they're the trooper of the police. Force. And this guy was like 26 years old. I'm like, oh, you know, he's like, man, I don't want that damn Explorer. Give me the Vic. I was like, okay. yeah, the car is probably older than he is. <laughs> <laughs> With 275,000 miles on it, he's still rocking it. All right, man. the last thing that we got left to do is to take this out for a ride. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pause it real quick so I can put my camera gear away. We're going to jump in and go for a ride. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to go for a ride. Sure I'm going to give you the mic so we can hear you. Okay, cool. We'll kill this because I'll get copyrighted for music that doesn't. Just shut it off. There we go. Oh, man, this is comfortable. I'm gonna back out of here. That way we don't have to go around. Yeah, if you want, you can hook up the mic so you don't have to hold it. Oh yeah, let me do that real quick. Yeah, just to the even seat belt or something. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I haven't been in a tinted one. This is five percent, you said? Yeah, five percent. Yep. Hey, you can't sing in this thing at nighttime. Yeah, that's why I asked you, was the windshield tinted? Because the it, dark interior and just everything, you know, darkened. To, to, to nice. drive this thing out of my driveway at nighttime is an absolute nightmare. 
I guess I'm gonna go left. I'll see, I'll let you guys see what this thing can do with me. Alright, this is now this is with the AC on. I'll turn the AC off, it's even quicker. Let's see. Ready? It pulls really strong. It does pull, yeah. Alright, we're at 70 already. Let me slow down. It's 70 miles an hour. <laughs> And you said it's a 327s? Yeah, it's a 327s. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I mean. Wow. But the state police cars are fast for just, I don't know if they mess with the factory programming or what they do, but these yeah. things are just, this, like I said, this is my fourth one. Every one I've had has just been phenomenally quick. I don't, yeah, this I don't, thing picks up and goes. Yeah, and if I turn the air off, it makes it, because the AC compressor takes, when the AC compressor is running, it takes a little bit of work, but fun fact. The P71s, when it's under, like, when you're, like, under, like, full acceleration, it turns the AC compressor off for th exactly 20 seconds to get max power. Did you know that? I did not know yeah. that. Yep. Yeah, and you can even hear the tires uh, definitely clong at the ground. This thing, yeah, this Man, thing Man, it's that, uh, <laughs> that famous police interceptor. Yeah, we just hit almost 90 right there. Yeah, yeah. Thing yeah, this thing moves, and it's so solid. I know, right? Yeah, it, it rides really good. Yeah, the wheel's not shaking. It's not bumpy. No, and the rear's not making no noise. Not humming. Like yeah, that. it's grippy, man. This is, yeah, this is one of the cleanest P71s that I've been in. You've driven here, or rode in. Yeah. Yep, and rode in. Been in. Yeah, definitely a world of a difference from my Mar Grand Marquis that's floaty and boaty. Yeah. A buddy of mine's got a Grand Marquis and he tried to race me. I was like, dude, you're going to lose really bad, bro. Yeah, with the 273. I mean, he, he, off the line, he stayed with me till about 30 and I just, after 30, I just like, I'm just going to leave you in the dust. But now, now she rides and drives really well. Um, let me know where you want me to turn around at and I'll... Yeah, wherever. This thing has an amazing turning radius. Understand, because they have to be able to spin around and catch criminals. So this thing has a very famous... Let's see, can I even do it right here, actually? Just pull up here. One thing I love about Vic is you can drive up on sidewalks and stuff and you can't hurt the car. I might have to back up just a tad bit because this is kind of on a hill here and I don't want to... Yeah, they don't want to put these cars in them, slamming their brakes. Yeah, everybody's going to stop. I think I'm a trooper. I'm off duty. Yeah, yeah, and that guy's going to think you're chasing. <laughs> Probably. Definitely uh, performs really well. I love the way this thing drives and handles. Yeah, it's quiet. It, and it rides. It's like solid. Like it's you hit solid, a bump, yeah. you don't feel like you don't hear no funny noises. You'll hear this moving around, but that's because yeah, yeah. this isn't bolted. The aftermarket. In yet. Yeah, it's because it's not bolted. If I if I bolted this in, it wouldn't move at all. But because it's you not ever bolted. Mess with people on the road. I don't have to actually. You know, the other day I was on 290. I was on the turnpike coming home. It was like four in the morning, and a guy in the Dodge Challenger, one of them SRT, started, woo, 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 and he gets up next to me, and I hear the car go, Brrr, and he gets behind me, and I'm like, he would not pass me. Like yeah. he reveals, like that's probably a cop. I'm not taking any chances. He was scared. He yep. he just saw the car and got scared. I'm like, yeah. Uh, so a lot of the times, what I'll see is like a P71. But people will put like stickers, or, uh, you know, they'll do something. It really gives it away. That oh, speaking it's a of the civilian, devil, look who's behind know? us. Oh, there's a, gra is that a, uh, what do you call them? It's a sap. I think yeah, it's yeah. a sap. That might actually be a. He's trying to catch up. <laughs> yeah, it's a copper, and I can't tell. That, that's not no, a copper. No, that's not a cop. That's yeah. an LX, too. Yeah, that's our LX, and that thing's clean. Yeah, it's clean because it's got the LX wheels on it. Young guys, <laughs> yeah, they're giving us thumbs up and stuff. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's great, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. That thing is really clean. She's like, uh oh, that was a cop. <laughs> just, they're freaking out. That's not really funny, is it? Wait, I'm gonna... <laughs> it's great, but yeah. What I like to do is if I see one, I'll uh, literally just come up to the people and ask them, hey, can I film your car? That's great. That's, that's, really, that's cool. really cool yeah. that you do that, though. But and did you notice how scared the girl got? First, she was waving. She was like, holy shit. 
And then she's like, uh oh. No, she said, holy shit, that's what yeah, she yeah. said. But she seen my car, I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, here we go with this stuff now. Oh, I drive through. Well, I drive through, do not enter in long ways all the time. I don't care. I do what I want when I'm in, you're in a cop car, you can, do, you can do that stuff. Yeah. There's no laws that apply to these cars. Well, Pierce. I want to just thank you. You're welcome, my friend. For the video, for your time, for this yes, awesome and amazing car and the interview. I think the people are going to love it because, man, I definitely enjoyed this car. <laughs> just cool. the, the everything about it. Well, guys, thank you for watching. This was uh, Pierce with his uh, 2010 10. P71 Chromatic. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? I'll add your uh, Instagram. Anything else you want to throw in? Pictures, videos you have? I'll definitely put it in. Yeah, I will. And don't forget to send me the pictures you took. Oh, yeah. We're going to get some pictures. We're going to go get some food. Yep. And we will talk to you guys soon. Yep. Bye. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend.